So this is the video you've been waiting for. The difference between PowerShare on the Galaxy S10 Plus versus reverse wireless charging on Huawei's Mate 20 Pro. Who can charge your devices better? In this case, a Pixel 3 device. Well, let's find out. So we have all our devices here, of course, the Galaxy S10 Plus and the Huawei uh, Mate 20 Pro. And we also have two Pixel 3 XLs, which we'll be using to reverse or power share with both devices. Big shout out to Verizon for hooking us up with some Pixel 3 here, which we're using. So if you want to pick up any of these devices, definitely head to verizon.com and we'll leave a link for you guys down below. So both our devices here are drained. There's no power whatsoever. Um, and we can go ahead and use both PowerShare and reverse wireless charging to charge them up. Now, the Huawei device here has reverse wireless charging. That's what they call it. The charge rate is about 2.5 watts. Uh, that is what at least we've come to find out what Huawei has. And to access this, you go into the battery, scroll down to wireless reverse charging and turn that on. And while the Galaxy S10 Plus has a 4.5 watts uh, reverse or power share rating. So all you have to do is pull down the notification bar and go to wireless power share and uh, you are good to go. So we're gonna set both of them on. We have a timer for 30 minutes because we figured the 30 minute charge would be a great way. And we're gonna place both our devices, the black uh, Pixel 3 on the Galaxy S10 Plus and of course the pink off-white version on the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Now the idea here is very simple. We've got 30 minutes. Imagine if you're hanging out with a friend at a coffee shop and their you know, cell phone battery dies, This you've got at least 30 minutes to give them some kind of charge. And we figured this is a good way to go. Now, uh, you can use many devices. Of course, you can recharge anything. You can, you can wirelessly charge an iPhone, say an iPhone 10 up. Uh, any device that has that uses Qi wireless charging, both of these devices would either power share with the Galaxy S10 Plus or reverse wireless charge uh, on the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. So we're gonna check at different intervals um, with all devices, and we're gonna start off at five minutes into the charge to see what we actually get uh, with both devices. So five minutes in, uh, we do have a percentage rating of about 1% charge on the Mate 20 Pro, and we do have 2% uh, charge on Galaxy 10s Plus. So which is pretty good. Uh, the Galaxy 10s Plus is already leading, even though it looked like it started a little bit later there than the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. So that's something just to take note. And again, guys, this is not a scientific uh, study, uh, but it's just something I wanted to try out and show you to see who actually gives you a better uh, wireless, reverse wireless charge or power share uh, when you're with friends or if somebody needs to charge a secondary device. Uh, so moving on to the 10 minute clock here, we'll see what we have. And first we'll check, of course, our Galaxy um, uh, S10 Plus. We've got 4% charge there. And the Huawei Mate 20 Pro is at 3%. So it's lagging about 1% behind, but it's still pretty close. So that's actually uh, pretty good here. So we're going to move ahead a little bit. And uh, I think we'll probably jump to about uh, 15 or 20 minutes here. We'll see how long we have. So our next time check will be at the 15 minute mark. And uh, this is a very good feature, having either PowerShell or wireless reverse charging, uh, charging your devices. But when we get to our 15 minute mark here, we can see that the Galaxy S10 Plus is at 7% charge, while the Huawei Mate 20 Pro is at 4% charge here. So our Galaxy device is now moving ahead. So it looks like having 4.5 watts uh, charge difference really goes a long way to giving you more in terms of uh, charging. Now we just have to see what happens at the end, how much power you lose from your device. How much power will we lose from the Galaxy S10 Plus? How much power will we lose from a device like the Huawei Mate 20 Pro? So our next time check will be at 25 minutes. So we're jumping a little bit further here. It's giving some more time to charge. And at 25 minutes, you're gonna see something I think it's quite interesting. So Huawei currently is at 6% charge at 25 minutes. So the Pixel has got 6% charge. And uh, the uh, Galaxy S10 Plus Pixel is at 11% charge. So you're getting more of a charge now from the Galaxy device. So if you're using something like the Pixel 
uh, 3 and you're charging it power share on the Galaxy device, you're getting uh, more charge off that than Huawei. And in terms of battery size, the Pixel is at the 27. 170 milliamp battery just to give you guys some perspective in there um i'm just gonna just mention here quickly that we ran out of a battery quickly so we had a switch which is why the time just kind of jumped to about 10 seconds left on the devices but we'll see what we have for remaining charge and we'll also see what we get in terms of um uh battery life on those devices so we stop here at uh, roughly uh, 30 minutes uh, both devices are charged our pixel devices and we have I believe 13% we're going to turn that on for a second and we'll look at both of them to give you a good idea what we're getting for charges for both but it's quite interesting you can clearly see that the Galaxy is ahead uh, at least a two to one charge ratio over the Huawei uh, Mate 20 Pro so we're going to take a closer look at both devices as they power on remember we're using Pixel 3 XLs and we can see the Galaxy's Pixel 3 XL Pixel 3 sorry uh, is at 13 percent while the Huawei is at 7 percent charge so the Galaxy S10 plus gives you at least a two to one charge ratio uh, compared to what you have from the Mate 20 Pro. Now, how much juice did we actually drain off both devices? Uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look at what we have here. So the Galaxy S10 plus is at um, 82% while the Huawei is at 89% in terms of uh, battery life left, which is quite interesting. So it's quite clear the Galaxy S10 Plus is much better at power share. Uh, reverse wirelessly, wirelessly charging other devices is something it does better. 4.5 watts says quite a lot, and you can see it also gives much more with its, its battery drain. And I think it's just more effective, much better than what Huawei does because Huawei's rated at 2.5, so you can see there's a two to one ratio difference here. I think overall, if you're charging things like your Galaxy Buds or your smartwatches, it makes a lot of sense. Now I want to give a big shout out to Verizon for sending over the Pixel 3s which we use for this test here. Wanted to test something that's balanced, just giving the idea of, hey, if you've got a smartphone, you can actually wirelessly charge and this is what you get. So if you want to pick up, say, your Galaxy S10 Plus or the S10e, uh, you can use the link down below and check out uh, verizonwireless.com to do that. Otherwise, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Also, if you want any of those wallpapers, they will be down in the links in the description as well. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. And once you do, hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. It's Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.